everybody can see this feature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we cut them? Uh, so you can. Uh, to bring them there, we ask you to sign them. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. I want so bad to just get it. You know, you never know.
so I can get a picture of that spot on your leg. That's what I need you to do. I came, I went out to get my phone because I didn't have it with me while I was in there, and then he was off and He's doing a little better. I, I stayed in there with him. I opened the, um, the, the blanket so you can see out, and that's He does respond to gentle, so if he starts getting like overly icky or mouthy, he does seem to know what that means. Or at least he's figured it out with all the times that I've said it to him. It's like, okay, she faces me when I'm good. Whenever I'm good, too. What's the matter? You've got nobody playing ball with you. Yeah, I wish for a couple of times. <laughs> and I took her, I took her rug out of there because honestly she preferred the, or the whole concrete anyway. Yeah, yeah, she does. So she got to take her rug off. Did I try, I did the her up the stairs. Yeah, she went. Really? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. I was actually, Brandon. Brandon wouldn't go upstairs and he saw her going up, but he tried it and he, he got up. <laughs> Did he really go? Yeah. Okay. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, well, that girl can do it. I got this. <laughs> okay, let's do this. That's funny. <laughs> you know, though, honestly, and I know you've heard that story before from a playgroup years ago at PAC. It was such a wonderful example to see how quickly they learn from other dogs. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Dogs playing for life had come in to teach PAC staff and volunteers, and some other were outside organizations. Canal County came down. Um, I want to 
say maybe Santa Cruz. I think it was Sierra Vista came up. Anyway, they were teaching us how to do safe dog play groups and for the shelters, how to use them for evaluations and all these different things. And I just happened to be out there one day. I was a volunteer coordinator back then. And I was out there watching. I love this kind of stuff anyway. I, I love, like people watching, but yeah. with dogs. Yes. <laughs> and there was this dog that we had been working on. We'd been bringing him into the volunteer room. Volunteers had been working on the walks. And he was like a young, built like some of these tall leggy guys, but he was like a year and a half old. He was like just a punk teenage dog that like just was obnoxious, had no manners. And he would jump up no matter what you did with him, no matter how you try all the different tricks, nothing worked. He went into the play yard. There were seven other dogs in the yard and he went up to the first one and did what he did and that dog appropriately corrected him. And he was like, oh, okay, my bad, sorry, and backed off. He went up to the second dog, did the same exact thing. Dogs didn't have the same reaction. He went around and he hit every dog, all seven dogs. And when he got to the seventh dog, it was the most amazing thing because it was like a light bulb went off. Yeah. And he stood there for a second and he looked around the yard like, nobody likes when I do that. <laughs> he immediately stopped. Wow. Some of those dogs cycled out. They brought new dogs in. Yeah. He went up. He's like, hi, let's be friends. Yeah. And he wasn't in And that was it. That's all it took. Wow. We'd been working with him for like two or three weeks. Really he was adopted the next day. Wow. They said, wow, this is such a wonderfully behaved dog. And I'm like, oh, let me 